Hello guys, today I want us to look at or to discuss some of the questions you can expect in course and production as a chapter in economics. So the question says, assume the following firm operates in a perfectly competitive market and firm's cost structure is given in the table below. Don't worry, the table is on the next slide. Copy the table into your answer book and complete the missing columns. So let's look at the table. Right, so you are provided with the cost structure table. Now you are asked to fill in the missing columns, all these blank columns. Right, so before you do that, you have to understand the items provided and you need to know uh, what they mean and how to calculate them. So you are provided with output, which of course is the number of um, number of goods or services produced, or the quantity, right? And you are also provided with total fixed cost. And from our previous um, lesson, we define total cost to be any kind of cost. We are saying total fixed costs are costs that are fixed or that remains the same throughout the production of goods and services or they do not vary with production at all. And we gave an example such as rent, right? Then we are provided with a total variable cost. We say the total variable costs are cost that varies with production. So this kind of cost differs depending on the number of quantity or output produced. For example, if you, if you are operating a tax shop and you are probably producing fair case. So the, 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 the cost that you need to produce 10 fair case will not be the same as so the same cost as the one you need to produce 100 fair case. Of course, to produce 10 fair case, you need probably just 500 gram of flour, 500 gram of sugar, and so on. But if you want to produce 100 fair case, then you need uh, 5 kg of sugar, 5 kg of, of flour and of course the prices of those um, raw materials or inputs will not be the same. So total variable cost varies with the uh, quantity or the production. The more you are producing, the more cost you will have or the more variable cost you have. And with total variable cost, if you're not producing anything, then you will not have any variable cost. Then you are also provided with total cost. Total cost, it says, this is the total or the sum of total fixed cost and total variable cost. So if you take total fixed cost and you add total variable cost, you will get your total cost for that firm. Then we have marginal revenue and total revenue. These two we have not discussed in our previous um, lesson. So before we look it into that, let's look at revenue. Right. So you see that the FM's total revenue, which is TR, is equal to the price of its products multiplied by the quantity sold. That's total revenue equals to P times Q. So if you are producing 10 fed kids, $1, so your total revenue will be 10 which is your quantity of fair cakes produced, multiply with one, which is the price of each fair cake. So then your total revenue will be $10. Right. Then you also have average revenue. We are saying that average revenue is equal to total revenue divided by the quantity sold. Thus, our average revenue equals to total revenue divided by the quantity, which is actually the same as saying, Price times quantity divided by quantity. And it's also equal to the price. So average revenue is equal to the price of the product. Or in other words, it's total revenue divided by quantity. So remember in the first examples, I, say, I said you are producing 10 fat cakes. Each fat cake is a dollar, right? So your total revenue will be 10 because you are making 10 times 1. So now for average revenue, we are also saying that we are saying that average revenue is also equal to the price of the product. So assuming that our total revenue we said is 10 
and our quantity is 10. So 10 divided by 10 will be $1. Right, I hope that is clear. Then we have marginal revenue. Marginal revenue are saying that is additional revenue and by selling an additional unit of product. In other words, or the formula for marginal revenue is MR equals to change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. So now that you understand the definitions as well as the formulas of revenue, we can go back to our table and try to complete the table. Right. Okay, so we can start off completing the first column. We are in the first column, you can see it's blank, so we need to fill in this one. But let me just um, get my pen ready. So you are provided with your total cost, and output is says zero. And you say the total cost equals to total fixed cost plus total variable cost. And we said, if you are not producing anything, you will not have any variable cost. So that means that our variable cost is zero because we are not producing anything. So now we want to find the total fixed cost. We just make 25 minus zero equals to 25, right? Then you have your 25. Now the the good thing is here, if you understand these terms well, then this table will be easier for you. Now that you know that your total fixed cost is for quantity or your output zero is 25, and remember, for total fixed cost, we say that it does not change. It does not change at all. It stays the same or constant all along, right? So that means that if you are producing one, you still have 25. If you are producing two, you still have 25. And if you are producing three, you still have 25. If you are producing four, you still have 25. This is necessary for you to complete before you even continue. Because when your lecturer, your teacher gives you this table, they assume that you will find your total fixed cost and fill in your total fixed cost before you even continue because it makes it easier for you to complete other columns. You can see that if you move to the next one, to quantity one, you now have already your total fixed cost, you have your total variable cost. All you need to do is to find your total cost, which is actually the sum of total fixed cost and total variable cost. So in this case, we have 25 plus 10, 25 plus 10, which is 35. So our total cost here is 35. And if you want to confirm your answer, you just make 35 minus 25 to see if you are getting 10 that you are provided with already. Then we move on to the next one. The next one is this one, and you are provided with total cost. You, are, you already have your total fixed cost. Now, for you is to find the total variable cost. All you have to do is take 40, you minus 25. The total variable cost is 15. Don't mind my handwriting. Right. Then um, the next one, you have... Your total fixed cost, which is 25, you are provided with total variable cost. Now you have to find the total cost. And you already know that total cost equals to total fixed cost plus total variable cost. So this will be 25 plus 25, which equals to 50. Then for the next one, again, you are provided with total cost. You, are, you already have your total fixed cost, but... You don't have total variable cost, and that's what we are looking for. So 70 minus 25 equals to 45. And again, always make sure to confirm your answers. So to confirm the answer here, you make 25 plus 45 to see if you are getting 70. If you are not getting 70, then know that something is wrong somewhere. So you have to go back and redo it right so this part is actually done now 
we are left with the last uh, five or six columns and for of what of total revenue right you are not provided with any total revenue but you are provided with marginal revenue so there's actually two ways that you can go about this whole uh, thing the first way is to to know that marginal revenue equals to the price of the product and we say that total revenue is what total revenue equals to right equals to price multiply by quantity so so the first way you can go about this is to know that your marginal revenue equals to the what to the price so that means that if you are provided with marginal revenue you are also provided with what the price of the product and if you want to find your total revenue you take your price or multiply with quantity so in this case you take 20 multiply with zero right so it's zero so then your total revenue at quantity zero is zero then you have 20 multiply with one which is 20 then you have 20 multiplied by 4, and sorry, not 4, multiplied by 2, which is 40, right? Then you have 20 multiplied by 3, which is 60. Then you have, you have 20 multiplied by 4, which is 80. Oh my goodness. Okay, which is 80, right? So this is how you get your total revenue. And this is the, another way you can actually get your total revenue. Now, there's also another way that you can use. Then that is using the formula. And we say that the formula of marginal revenue is a change. We said it's change in total revenue divided by the change in divided by the change in quantity so in this case you are provided with your total i mean your marginal revenue but you are not provided with your total revenue so that is actually how you fill in this table as easy as such you do not have to struggle if you understand the terms provided you know how to calculate them it will be easier for you thank you guys for watching i will see you again in our next lesson